All right, this is lesson seven, the cooldown called both sides now. We know that in two triangles. Uh, do I need to go through this whole thing? No, we've already talked about side angle, side triangle congruence. There's a new shortcut, another one. It's called angle, side angle. If you have two corresponding sets of angles that are congruent to each other and the side in between them, we can also quickly and easily show that the two triangles are congruent. What you have to do is look at the diagram and the given information. Think about whether it'd be easier to find two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent or two pairs of corresponding sides that are congruent. And then check see if there's enough information to use the angle side angle triangle congruence theorem. So angle side angle triangle congruence theorem can be used to prove that in a parallelogram opposite sides are congruent. A parallelogram is defined to be a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. So those two sides are parallel these two sides are parallel to each other. And if you remember, when you have parallel lines, corresponding angles are congruent. Remember that alternate interior angles are congruent. So let's take a look at this. If this is parallel to that, then this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles and we can mark those angles congruent to one another. Off of this line uh, and this line being parallel. Okay, now if this line down here is parallel to that line then we have another set of alternate interior angles here and here. So if you take a look at this, we have this triangle and this triangle where we have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. Now, since this is a shared side, this side is congruent to itself. So triangle ADC is congruent to triangle CBA. Since we know that the two triangles are congruent to each other, we know all the corresponding sides and angles are also all congruent to each other. So this corresponds to that, making them congruent, and this corresponds to that. So those are congruent as well. Now if you take a look, the larger parallelogram here opposite sides are congruent to each other. Yay, we proved it. So far you proved that one pair of parallel sides in a parallelogram must be congruent. Add your proof to prove that both pairs of parallel sides in a parallelogram must be congruent. Hmm. Wait a minute. What did we just do here? If you have any questions, let me know.